What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a kitchen to your house in Revit Architecture. The first thing you want to do is find out where you want your kitchen to be. And I want mine to be right in this area here. And I'm going to make a kitchen, a very small kitchen, but it's a kitchen, in a L shape right through here. The first thing you want to do is go to Component. And then you want to scroll all the way up and you will see a bunch of different base cabinets. Now you can also load a bunch more in Load Family and they are under the casework folder right here and as you can see there's a bunch of different things you can load such as base cabinets and you can see there's a bunch of different ones. Now I'm just gonna start off by putting in a angled cabinet here because I know I want this to be a L shape here so to spin this cabinet around, I'm going to click, and I know I want it to face this way. Then I'm going to find a cabinet to put right in this place here, and I will use a 30 inch cabinet. And now as you can see where this plus is, that is the back side of the cabinet and will always be the back side. So I'm just going to spin this around. You want to make sure you click that piece right on the edge of the wall there, and make sure it's lined up with your other cabinets, and click. Now, at some point, I'm going to need to put a fridge in here, so I think I'm going to put it right there in the corner. I will click. I'm going to try and find a refrigerator here. And they come in left and right handles. And I'm going to use a left handled one here. I'm going to click. Then I'm going to spin it around, make sure it's going the right way. I'm going to click. And as you can see, I actually put this in the wrong way. Because you can see this blue line behind here, that indicates that that is the back. So I'm going to click on it and just spin it around. And I'm going to move it into place with my arrow keys. And this that blue line should be right up against the wall. And I'm it's always good to leave a little bit of space between your cabinets and your walls for your refrigerator. Next, I'm going to put in a dishwasher. So I'm going to click Component. And then find a dishwasher here. right here and I'm going to put it right here now the front of the dishwasher is where this plus is and it's got the double lines that indicates the door so I'm gonna click and once again just move it into place with my arrow keys or if you don't want to do that you can use the align tool so it, that's up here so you click on one of your objects you click the align tool then you click the side you want to stay so that would be that side then you click the thing you want to move, which would be the edge of the dishwasher, and it will slide right into place. And I'm gonna put in another cabinet here. And usually I like to use the same size cabinets all the way around throughout the whole kitchen. So I'm gonna try and pick a 30 inch cabinet here. Make sure the back's facing the right way. And then you click. I'm gonna try and find a stove or an oven to put in here. And I'll scroll down until I find that. You will see range here. I'm going to click. And then this would be the front where the plus sign is. I'm just going to click. And now I'm also going to add a cabinet on the side there, just so the range is not the last thing there. So I'm going to click a 12 inch cabinet. and I'm just going to click and now I have my base cabinets and my appliances in place. Next I'm going to want to put in the upper cabinets along this wall right here and above this fridge here so I'm going to go to component once again and I'm just going to find the upper cabinets and I'm going to start with this upper cabinet right here this corner piece so I'm just going to get it close Try and line it up. I'll get it as close as I possibly can. Then I will zoom in. Click on it and I'm just going to move it with the arrow keys till it's aligned here. Now for these upper cabinets you need a 12 inch cabinet to fit from here to the other cabinet here so I'm going to get that.
right here, 12 inch cabinet. So I'm just gonna put it in right there. And I will move this one with the arrow keys as well. Now I want the same size cabinet over this, so I'm just gonna check and see. This is a 30 inch cabinet. So I am going to put a 30 inch wall cabinet above it. Right there. And align it once again. And now I'm going to put a cabinet above this fridge here. So I'm just going to measure this to see about how far it is. And it looks about 2 foot 8. So I'm going to look for a cabinet. So I'm going to look for about a 32 inch cabinet. And I only have 33 which that should be just fine. I will click. And this one is now aligned. Now when I go to 3D mode here and flip this around you will see that this cabinet is actually in the refrigerator now we don't want that we can't have that so we need to make this cabinet shorter so what you want to do is click on it and then you're gonna click edit type under the properties menu and then you're gonna want to click duplicate and just name it 33 2 and click OK and then what you want to do is come right here to the height of the cabinet. We want to make this one foot. And then you're just going to click OK. And it changed the height of that cabinet. Now as you can see, it is not in the same spot where it should be. It is not aligned with the top of these. So we can align them a couple of ways. We can either use the align tool, trying to pick the top of each cabinet, which might not be the easiest here right there as you can see it moved or you can just click on the cabinet and try and adjust the elevation right here under the properties menu now also with this cabinet you will see that it is not the same height as these and we don't want that so you want to click on that cabinet click edit type and under height this one we don't have to duplicate because there's not more than one and this one under height we want it to be two six so click OK. And now this one also moved its position, so I'm just going to move it six inches down here. Make it four six, and now you can see they are aligned. Next, what we want to do is add a countertop to the top of these cabinets here. So what I'm going to do first is go back to component. And a lot of countertops are not loaded in here. So we're going to have to manually load them. So what we're going to do is go to load family. And then under casework, you will find countertops and you click on that. And then I'm just going to flip through here because I know I need an angled one and I'm also going to want a sink in this one so I'm going to click open and now I'm going to use the space bar to flip it around so it's facing the right direction I'm going to line it up with the back of the cabinets and I'm going to click now I'm going to click modify click on the countertop and I'm going to drag these arrows so they line up with the edge of where I want the countertop to be So I'm just going to try and align them with the edge of the countertop here. That's close enough. So now I need just a little countertop right here. So I'm going to have to look for a single countertop. So I'm going to go to component once again, load family, casework, countertops, and I'm just going to load this basic countertop here. Click open and then click the space bar, flip it the right way and put it into place. Now I will just use my arrow keys to move this down.
and once again I'm going to use the blue arrows to drag it right to the edge of my cabinet. We need a spot for the sink so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to move the sink hole on this one. Some countertops come with arrows to move the sink hole but this one unfortunately doesn't so I'm just going to have to mess with the dimensions here and once I figure out where to put the sink hole so it sits right on top of this cabinet I will come back to the video. Alright I am back and as you can see I have changed the sink hole location right here for this one it's actually five and one inch and one half which is kind of a weird number but it depends on where you want your sink to be so now I'm going to load a sink into this so I'm going to click component load family and sinks are under plumbing architectural fixtures and then sinks and I'm gonna look for the one that fits there which is this single kitchen sink I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna flip it the right way and line it up with the hole and I'm just gonna click and then I will be done now as you can see I have a small but useful kitchen here if this video helped you out please give me a thumbs up thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video